need to thank Newegg because they have a special trade in your GPU program that Tech is going to tell you about. So, do you have an old graphics card laying around? Do you need to upgrade to something newer, but you don't want to sell your current card on eBay? Just real okay. Just really quick. You will absolutely get more money for your video card on eBay than you will if from you, Newegg. You of course you will, but you have to pay the shipping to the buyer. You have to worry about scam buyers. You have to worry about somebody wanting to return it. And if and, you're not used to selling. And if you don't, if you're not used to selling, the whole thing can be just a bit overwhelming. And I'm willing to bet an awful lot of our viewers have an old video card on the shelf that they thought, well, I'll sell that one day. But if you don't sell on eBay regularly, it's a lot to figure out. It is. And their fees have gotten quite high. If you don't have a store, if you're not a professional seller, yeah. their fees... And shipping, if you don't do it regularly, is ridiculous. If you do ship, by the way, totally not sponsored, pirate ship. Yeah. Sounds jank, 100% legit. Big discounts on the post office and UPS. Literally pirateship.com. Very, very good deal. Um, no subscription, no fees. It's amazing. So the thing is, if you've got a GPU you need to trade in and you just want to get something for it because it literally is collecting dust on your shelf, then basically what they've got is they've got a program here where you find the new GPU you want to buy, you get a trade-in offer, we'll look at those here in a minute, you buy your new card, and then you ship the trade-in using their prepaid UPS shipping label sent to you inbox to ship your, your, your card to them. Once they receive it, they'll credit you for its trade-in value. And if you come down here, what is your graphics card worth? Now, again, you can get more than these prices on eBay, but this is for somebody who, for example, has a 2060 six gig card sitting on the shelf and they don't feel like eBaying it. Do you want $90 or $0? I think I'd rather 90 bucks. Do you have a 3070 eight gig, 309? 209. 209. Now that's not actually bad because right now 3070s are actually trending below 300 on eBay. Oh really? So that's not too bad. If you sell a 3070 on eBay, in fact, you know what? We're here. Why don't we just go to eBay? Pull up eBay. Pull up a 3070. Close that. RTX 3070. Rather than talk about it, how about I show you? Mm -hmm. Condition used. Uh, I don't know if they have a 1030 on there. That might be a bit old. So, 250 with free shipping, although that's one of those Dell OEM cards, but yeah, you know, it's pre-owned, so that works. Zotac blower, MSI Ventus, 250 plus $15. So, 265. All right. 210, 209. 209 from Newegg. And not have to worry about anything. Yeah, but here's the thing. You don't get 250 when you sell no, it there. No, because you got eBay fees, shipping. eBay fee calculator. I am willing to bet. So let's say you sell your card for $265. No shipping. Your item cost is relevant. Um, it might cost an average person, if you use pirate ship, you might get away with 15, 15 bucks shipping. You don't have an eBay store. Above standard is basically the normal, the default. Top rated is only for pretty big sellers. No promoted, no donated to charity. Now they do charge fees on sales tax and let's say that you are here in Texas. And the category is computers. Do they have a dedicated video card category here? No, but it's it's the same it's the same it's the same price as that. eBay wow. is going to charge you thirty eight dollars and thirty one cents in fees, so your net is two hundred and eleven dollars after shipping. Because you notice I put the fifteen dollars shipping up here, and Newegg will give you two hundred and nine. With no hassle. Yeah, no hassle. It's not really that unreasonable, is it? No. Some of their some of their trade-in values are better than others. This is for 209 here is pretty reasonable. 
I haven't looked that up. Are, are 20, 60, 60 gigs really worth that little these days? Okay, now I'm curious. How much is an RTX 2060? Six gig. Okay, tech's about to be scared. Come on, the interwebs. You impressed me. Why do people do this? Empty box. What? $27 for an empty box? It's going to be expensive. To, I mean, because it's a funny shape. It's not like you can roll it up. Okay, first of all, yes. But not only why would you buy this, but why would you bother selling? Your time can't be worth this little. A hundred and forty? When did 30, when did 20, what the chicken nugget? When did 2060s become worth 140 bucks? So $90? That's an Asus card too. Mm -hmm. Okay, I take that back. 90 is completely reasonable. After fees and shipping, you aren't getting any better than that. Nope. Wow. Okay, I'm impressed. Here's a 2080 Ti 11 gig for 200, which is probably fair because they performance wise they're about the same. What do you think a 2080 Ti on? I'm curious now. 280? Parts only, skip the parts only cards. <gasps> skip the blower card. No. Well, that one's 260. The bottom one's 282. 280. 300. Depending on what. So 280 to 300. That's not bad. All right. So here you go. The point being is you can get very similar to your net value off of eBay. Now, of course, if you have a buddy or a friend or a brother or sister okay. or cousin that you can give or sell your card to locally, that's of course the best recycling that exists. And if you can sell it locally without eBay fees and shipping, you'll do better typically. But it's a cool offering for people with a spare GPU. Mm -hmm. What else do you wanna to add to that? I'll just put the link in the video description. I mean, in the chat for the website that we're looking at. It's Newegg's trade in your GPU. So click on that and. Um, right on the top of Newegg's page is the trade in button. That's right here. This is Newegg's homepage. You hit so, trade in. And then boom. That's that's where it is. Mm -hmm. It's worth noting. Um, what are the requirements? So there's ter the terms here basically says the card has to work. Yes. That's the that's that's the the TLDR version. No broken junk cards. Um, you do not have to have the retail box. You don't have to have anything else. You just have to have the card itself. What about adapters for the old for the probably? Do you do you really want to? Oh my gosh! They're a corporation. What do you expect? If you uh, if you uh, need some uh, reading material to go to sleep. Newegg will provide you with a prepaid shipping Lego for the shipment of your trade-in. You may also receive a return kit to safely mail in your device, probably for the more expensive cards. Oh, that's cool. That actually comes in, because sometimes it can be tricky packing them up. When trading in your new GPU purchase, the approved value will be refunded against your purchase after we've received and verified your trade-in. If your GPU is not approved, we'll inform you via email. So here's the question for our audience. I'm gonna do a poll. Ooh. Do a poll. Are, do you have a spare unused GPU on the shelf? That you haven't sold yet? Would you use this program? Yes, I have a spare GPU. To sell? Uh, I'm asking two questions. You really can't ask two questions in the... No, I sell all. Sell or donate all my used 
use GPUs. Why don't you say yes, I have a spare GPU, I would use the program. There's not enough words in the poll question. Oh. I'll have to, I don't want to add an option. I'm I'm having I love how you sit here and you watch me type instead of answering questions while I'm typing. Because I'm thinking. Don't think. Say hi to the because the audience doesn't want to watch me type. eBay is a pain these days for small sellers. That's why this trading program is quite exciting. So that's why we're suggesting give it a go. Give it a whirl. Here we go. Real Avis has an extra RTX 2070 that he wants to sell. Maybe that's that's a way to do that. Keep in mind that when you sell on eBay, there's effectively no such thing as no returns. I know some people like to check the box that says no returns. Here's the, here's the reality on eBay. Let's say you sell a video card. Let's say it works. Let's say you're being 100% legit. You say no returns. The customer gets it. They change their mind. They want to return it. They reach out to you and you're like, I sold it to you. You gave me the money. I gave you the card, dude. That's the way it is. They just open a complaint with eBay and say, doesn't work. eBay is not going to investigate whether the card works. No. They're going to force a return. Oh, but here's the best part. eBay is going to make you pay for return shipping. Is that only in the U.S.? I have no idea how it works in the rest of the world. But considering the US has some of the least consumer friendly laws in the world, I'm willing to bet that's probably universal, but I don't know about the rest of the world. But the point is, if you say no returns and they claim it doesn't work, eBay will force you to take it back mm -hmm. and eBay will force you to pay for return shipping. You'll be out round trip shipping. Yep. You never really know what you're gonna get back. Even if you get it back. And they will force a refund. So. eBay's a rough place to sell things like video cards if you're not a serious seller. It's a rough place to sell anything if you're not a rig, if you if you don't do it for. Yeah, so just keep that in mind. There's really no such thing. Now, I would actually advise that you say you accept returns because if you say you accept returns, you can put in the conditions buyer pays return shipping. Yeah, average dude. What? On the bottom. still doesn't matter if they open a claim. Oh, but here's the best part. They can claim not as described. Then, then they yeah. can still force a return. Exactly. Because what they can say is, oh, I bought a 2070 and you sent me a 2060. How are you to prove? I, you, eBay is not the, eBay can be a rough place to sell stuff like video cards.